and we're going first to uh, Florida, April Sprints, who is uh, our author for June with Magic Blue Rocks. Uh, you're up first with Kim Scott. Awesome, April, thank up. you. I appreciate it. First of all, I just wanna take a moment and let's just recognize, Kim, that you've made a phenomenal amount of impact for the amount of years you've been on the planet. I just wanna <laughs> just put that out there. I am, I am really impressed by that. And I loved in your book, and you, you talked about it a little earlier when you were speaking, this differentiation you made of your rock stars and your superstars. And both in my time in the military and in the corporate world before I started my firm, companies really struggle with this. They understand, I think, that both of those things are valuable, but I don't think infrastructure really supports it in the way that they recognize, compensate, promote. So for those leaders in companies that say, you know what, I really want to send a mes message that both of these things are very important. I specifically think of a startup that is now in the scale up mode, right? So they probably want a little more of a mix of rock stars than just superstars what would be a good first step for them to start changing that paradigm i think the important the most important thing you can do is if you're using a, a talent management system that involves potential the word potential throw it away uh, i i offer in the book a, d a different way to think about it i i love a good two by two but you have growth tra trajectory on the vertical axis and uh, and performance on the horizontal axis you obviously want everyone needs to be performing excellently to 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 sort of get a high rating get a big bonus get a promoted whatever but there there are some people who don't want that promotion and how do you how do you learn how to identify people who are currently in rock star mode and people who are in superstar mode. And how do you make sure that you're not clipping the wings of people who are in superstar mode? And how do you make sure that you're honoring people who are in rock star mode? And very often sort of larger established companies have a tendency to clip the wings of people when they're in superstar mode. Mm -hmm. And startups have a tendency uh, not to re give respect that is due, especially when they're in growth mode, to people who are in rock star mode. And so I think one of the most important things that leaders can do is to sit down with their teams and to be explicit about who's in what mode and to make sure uh, another nuance. One of the dangers of rock star superstar is we tend to uh, we tend to hang labels around, you know, this is a rock star. We are in rock star mode, superstar mode. So be, words really matter. Be careful of, of that. I, I, when I edited the book, I had done it a million times myself. My rock stars, no, people in rock star mode. It's more words. It's worth using those extra words because we, we change. So that's one thing. And be, be sort of explicit about what do you think is the, is the correct ratio? And if you want to begin to honor your, your people in rock star mode, I think the most common mistake that companies make is they save all the highest ratings and therefore bonuses and therefore equity for people who are on a promotion track. And that is not fair to people who are in rock star mode. It is one of the, one of the many injustices that gets baked. It's like it becomes systemic injustice. Where, where people who, who are gonna get promoted get rated as having better performance, but they don't have better performance at this point in time than the person in rock star mode. So I think making sure that you're doing a check on that. And then the other thing is to make sure that you're explicit by level. Like you're, you probably want for your entry level employees you probably want more people in superstar mode, whereas at, at your VP level, you probably want more people in rock star mode because they're not all going to become the CEO and making sure that you're that you're honoring them. Apple did a, a better job of this, for example, than than Google. Google wanted everyone in superstar mode in the early days, which was I'm not knocking. It was like not surprising given where Google was, but Apple is. Apple will really reward people who've been at the company for 30 years and reward them like with real, uh, with real um, meaning. Uh, and, and I think also giving people 
uh, giving people when they're in rock star mode the floor to teach others. Often they know something more deeply than anyone else at the company. Mm -hmm. And people then take it for granted. Oh, that's so-and-so's job. And, uh, and, and let so-and-so teach others how to do that so that they're not single, single point of failure and so that they get you know, honored for their expertise. I love it, thank you. And I love specifically the thing about entry level versus at the leadership level, because the superstars, I can see them getting you there, but the rock stars will keep you there. And if yeah. we remember that, I think it'll be really important. Yes. Thank absolutely. you. Thank you, and thank you for your service.